Hey, so many of you know that back a couple weeks ago, I made a video about calorie shifting. Um, and I got a, I got a number of, of messages and questions, and I'm sorry, I haven't done, I've been so busy, I haven't responded to many of them. But I did get, I got an email, which was disturbing. I was disturbed by it, and I'm going to withhold the name of the person who sent it. Because I, I, I just, you know, I don't want to cause any specific drama, but I am going to read this to you. So uh, this was sent to me on the 15th, so it was like a day or two after the calorie shifting. And it was entitled, Do Skinny People Count Calories? And the body of the email was, hey man, just a question. Do you know any skinny people? Do they count calories? Quantum trick their metabolism. Quantum trick. Do insane amount of trainings. Calorie restrict. Obsess. Just saying, I know a lot of people that don't bother with any of that shit and have always been skinny. Bro, you look like you've lost a lot of weight from your picture of before. What's up? When will you be happy? <laughs> um, I don't understand all of that there, especially the part at the end, because I, I do I portray to you folks somebody who has ever, throughout this journey, been miserable. Um, do I seem miserable right now? Does my life suck ass because I've committed to health? And I think there's a big disconnect with a lot of people thinking that this journey has to be this miserable thing because all I want to do is get skinny. You know what? This this journey has to do with, with evolving and learning and, and, and constantly striving to be better at something and, and, and using that as a catalyst to the rest of your life because I don't just feel this way about health and weight loss. I feel this way about my career. I feel this way about cultivating great relationships with people. Um, it's something that I've had a really tough time doing. So um, so it, th this is just one entire learning experience for me. So to think that uh, because I've, I've done great things uh, from a health standpoint that, that it was just this band-aid and, and I shouldn't think about it anymore. Um, um, it's not an obsession, or if it is, I don't think of it as an obsession. I think of it as this, this awesome part of my life that I that I love, that I keep improving my body, that I am. I was I was uh, joking with a girl on Facebook today. Uh, her birthday is on the exact same day as mine. She was turning thirty. I said, "How's thirty so far?" And she's like, "Better than being 40. <laughs> and I'm like, "You know what? My forty, me turning forty so far." has been so much better than what it was when I turned 30. So, uh, life is awesome. I have energy. I, I, I freaking... Yes, I do track what I eat. I I love my cuisine. Um, I, I, I eat healthy. Uh, and the whole point of the calorie shifting video is it's very easy for me to eat healthy because I know I have two days where I can eat unhealthy without any guilt. Do I obsess when I'm training? Yeah, I worked out and I did uh, UFC trainer this morning. Midday I took a walk, and tonight because I needed to see Donald Driver on Dancing with the Stars, I took a hike outside of my backyard and my back trail as opposed to going to the gym. I got three workouts in. I burnt about 1,500 calories. I enjoy every single moment of it. And I'll be damned if I'm going to have some nameless, faceless person tell me, that because I do these things, I must be unhappy. Well, if any, if you are unhappy doing these things, then you might as well not do it because you're not going to sustain it. You're not. So I thought I would address that because um, I just found that so incredibly peculiar. Like like this guy out here using YouTube as both a way to document his his journey and as a creative outlet is miserable. Life is so poopy. So, <laughs> why? Because I've made health and weight loss a life, lifetime commitment, and I happen to be really incredible at it. What do you think? Anyway, have a great one.